This is a stunning 2017 on a 17 registration Jaguar F-Type and importantly it is the 5 litre V8 engine um, so it's the top of the engine range in the F-Type model um, and this is the original shape so the first generation of the new F-Type and even today five years on it's still a stunning looking car i think one of the better looking cars on the road and especially in this color combination which is the Ferenzi red metallic which is this deep red very metallic color under the light um, with all of the exterior black pack and again another beautiful feature on this particular car is there's lots of carbon fiber um, so you'll see already from where you're standing the roof is not actually black, it's not a panoramic roof, it's a carbon fibre roof and I haven't seen another one for sale with a carbon fibre roof and that is factory, everything on this car is original from factory. Um, it's a lovely specification car and I'll talk you through some of the options as we go around it. Um, but starting at the front here, as I mentioned just a second ago, the full exterior black pack, so all of the grille surround, the, the lower front splitter down there, um, the headlights, surrounds, etc. Everything, everything is gloss black on this car, um, and it's just a very, like I say, a very timeless front end, very neatly designed. And you can tell it's the V8 engine with these uh, vents in the bonnet here. Um, so they're on either side of the bonnet. Just, it's just a, as I keep saying, a very, very good-looking car. Um, coming around the front here, it's got bifunctional HID headlamps. Um, so they're very good headlights in the night time. They'll bright up just about everything you need to see. And then just some nice design features like this extended sort of splitter down the front here, but it's actually part of the front bumper. So it's very, just very well designed, aggressive looking. Um, coming around the side, we've got these 20 inch alloy wheels. And again, the carbon fiber continues on here. So these are the carbon uh, spoked alloy wheels. And then you've got this sort of uh, gunmetal gray with the diamond cut face around the edge and then the red calipers to match the color of the car as well. And it's on proper Pirelli P0 tires all around. Um, and the car itself for the, for the age is just in stunning condition as well. And the black pack continues to these side vents here. So all in gloss black. And then again, you'll see from where you're standing the massive extended uh, side skirt down there. Again, just makes it an extremely good looking car. The carbon fiber continues on the door mirrors here. These are power folding door mirrors, but it's got the carbon fiber mirror case. Again, a factory option and the gloss black continues around the window surrounds. And then again, the carbon fiber roof, which you'll see now you're a bit closer up to it. When you've got exposed carbon like this, it is just to see the weave is just a beautiful design. On the F-Type, the door handles sit flush with the car when the car's locked. So when it's unlocked, they pop out like this and then you can just pull them and open the car and you'll get a quick glimpse inside the car where the black and red theme continues with all the black leather and the contrast red stitching across the seat, stash ward uh, and door cards as well. Lots of good ambient lighting in there as well and illuminated door sills uh, just down the bottom but we'll talk about the interior more as we get round there. The car's got privacy glass on the rear quarters and the rear glass as well. You've got gloss black across the shark fin for the aerial on the roof there. Even the badges are black as well. It's just, like I keep saying, it goes very well with this Ferenzi red um, to contrast it with the black. And then again, a, a giveaway feature that it's the V8 is the quad exhaust pipes too on either side. Um, so every, the three different engines you can have in an F-Type have three different exhaust layouts. So the most popular one is the two exhaust in the middle and that is a V6. This is above that, this is a V8 and it's got the quad exhaust pipes too on either side. And I think it looks very good. Again, with this big sort of diffuser shape going on here and it's just, it's just a timeless design. It looks very, very good and the gloss black uh, contrasting there as well. The reverse camera is hidden, hidden away in the rear bumper here and um, just sits nice and flush. There's no sort of surround to it. It's just the reverse camera. Again, very well implemented. And then this car is fitted with a power tailgate. So you just press the button and that goes up. And then you've got very usable space in here because being a two seater, there's no rear seat. So it's quite a deep boot. Um, and then you have got sort of a false floor here, which has got a deeper storage section. You can put some dirty stuff under there to separate it or whatever you wish to do with that. And then a button up here to close the bit. You've got a nice leather grab handle if you do want to pull it manually, but I don't, the button's much easier. Just press the button and it'll come down. 
And then this whole boot section here, where the badge is, so up to these lines around the glass, um, is actually a deployable rear spoiler as well. So there's a button inside the car, you can deploy that up, it comes up quite, quite a sharp angle, um, and it will automatically go up at, at around sort of 70 to 75 miles per hour, uh, so on the dual carriageway, um, and it goes back down when you drop to sort of 30, 30 to 40 ish miles per hour. Coming around the driver's side, Again, another nice feature, which is quite uh, rare on these, is the, the red seat belts here. So it's to match the paintwork of the car and contrast the black leather. And the car has got the bucket style seats as well. Um, they're a very nice looking seat, very comfortable seat. And I'll just jump in it now to sort of talk you through some of the options inside. So on the door card here, this is a big cost option to have the big adjustable seats with the side bolsters as well there and the lumbar support and the memory settings um, and again even to have that the the background to those buttons in the gloss black is an option as well you've got the meridian surround sound system in the door there and all electric power folding uh, door mirrors and electric windows as you'd expect and then again as i touched on briefly before all the contrast red stitching across all of the interior of the car actually so You've got a power boot button over here to open the boot from inside the car and then the car is fitted with a flat bottom steering wheel. Again, that is optional. Um, some of them do just have a, a standard round steering wheel and this is a heated steering wheel as well. So another nice cost option there. You've got your cruise control um, and then your buttons to flick through the display in the centre there, um, all, all as you would expect. Automatic headlights. Um, and then the car is keyless to start so if I have my foot on the brake I'll press the button and it sounds incredible so I didn't touch on it at the start but I just mentioned it briefly now being a 2017 model it's before in 2018 they bought out a lot of filters which quieten down the engines um, so if you have a 2018 or 19 V8 it doesn't sound anywhere near as good as this generation did and I'll turn it on now and you will hear it even through the microphone on my chest because it is such a good noise so. <laughs> Is a, a very deep and it is very noisy on the initial startup but it does quieten down quite nicely um, so it's not going to annoy too many neighbours um, but it does also sound very very good um, you've got an electric steering column this comes in and out up and down as well and then the top of the dials you can see are all wrapped in leather and have got the stitching there as well and then Jaguar do these center air vents very nicely because they've I don't know if you noticed or not but they popped up when I turned the car on they do actually sit down flush when the car's off or if you turn the aircon off um, just to make it a neater dashboard really and, and it's just very, it's nice the way they pop up out of the dashboard. If I put the car into reverse now, you'll see that reversing camera which I mentioned earlier. It goes full screen so it's nice and easy to see and, and sort of reads and then you've got the big gear stick in the middle here. The, again, a, sport, a switchable sports exhaust, which we touched on around the back, and the deployable rear spoiler buttons there. So if I press that, the car just gets a little bit deeper and sounds better if you rev it. And you've got your driving mode selection switch here. So if I pulled that down to dynamic, all of the dials go dark red. The car gets a bit noisier as well, and it just makes it much easier to sort of drive spirited and fast if, if that's what you wanted to do. Um, the car has got heated seats as well. So if you push these temperature dials and twist it, got heated seats in there all the features you would sort of want on one of these cars all your Bluetooth um, they're just a very usable very comfortable sports car and the best bit is the looks they do it's, it's very timeless so um, I'll turn the car off now and jump out so you'll see just under the light or in the Sun it's a stunning looking car with all of the black pack um, this car's got a full Jaguar main dealer service history and it is due on now so we will send it to Jaguar before sale so there will be five Jaguar main dealer services with this car um, it will also have a new MOT on it um, so it will be ready to go it's, it's in beautiful condition there's, there's barely a mark on the car at all it's in stunning condition all the wheels are good um, and it's been very well looked after garaged with its previous owner um, who part exchanged the vehicle with us I hope the video has helped you get an idea of the car and, and how special it is with those carbon bits. There's not many with the carbon bits. In fact, I don't think there's another one for sale today with those. Um, my name's Ben. Thank you very much for watching.